Hi you guys, this is Amy and this is part three of Get Ready for Summer. This part is for people who want to make a local backup of all of the files. Maybe you've gathered all your files from all different places in Google Drive and now you want to create a local archive of that so that perhaps if you're changing school districts, your account is going to go away. You can get all of your content out of that account before that happens. So if you'd like to join me in this presentation, this is the URL, it's bit.ly forward slash capital F file, capital S storage, capital G Google. And if you navigate to that, then you will see the links we're going to look at today for part three of the video starting at slide nine. So we're going to talk today about a tool called Google Takeout. And this can be kind of hard to find sometimes, so I'm going to give you a direct link to Google Takeout. And this is it. It's bit.ly forward slash Google capital G takeout or sorry dash and then take out capital T or if in your you're in this presentation with me you can just go ahead and click right on that link and we'll open this up together and you'll see that in the end of the URL it actually says take out up there and this is exactly where we want to be we want to be at download your data this is going to let you take all of those files that we stored in Google Drive in part one and part two of this video series all these hundreds and hundreds of files that we backed up and it's going to let us create a local copy of them that we can either upload to another Google account later or that we can have on our on our home computer so that we can access them. So we're just going to go ahead and click on the create archive link here and then we're going to take a look at all of the different tools that are going to be able to archive for us. So if we're logged into our school account which may go away after say the end of our contract at the end of this year then this is a way for us to get all of our account out all of our account data out for all these different services so let's just go ahead and put a check mark by everything and let's go ahead and click next and then what we're going to do is we're going to let this download as a dot zip file and we're going to ask Google to send the download link via email. That doesn't mean it's backed up though. All that means is that we're going to have an opportunity then to download that zip file. So let's go ahead and flip over and see what that will look like when it's done. So for the sake of time today I've created a really small archive so we can take a look at what it looks like and how you're gonna export it and so this one says it's almost there it will give you an error or not an error but a message that it may take even days to complete so don't wait until your very last day to have your account active to do this prepare this well in advance but mine is finished I just created a tiny one just of my Google keep files so that we could look at it together so I'm gonna go ahead and download the file it will force me to log back in again and this is what it looks like so I have a download button right here and I just downloaded it onto my computer so there it is down in the bottom left hand corner of my screen so now I can use whatever zip unarchiver tool I have on my computer to go ahead and extract that um, you may have to download a tool to do that but your computer probably has one that's built in and now I've got a folder on my desktop I'll open up called takeout so inside this keep folder I've got the different files that were exported from that little folder that I chose now if this is a, a photograph that I had in my keep file now if you choose to export your Google Docs you're gonna have those come out as Excel doc PowerPoint formats that you're going to be able to open with software on your computer. My, I just happened to choose a file folder that was from Google Keep and so it exported as HTML files. So this is going to give you some confidence that you've got all of your files out of Google so that you can then import them into another account. So now if I want to bring these these files back over into my other account, let's just review a setting here what we want to do is go into our settings at drive.google.com we want to put a check mark by convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format and then we'll be able to just drag and drop our takeout files right back over or else put them into that special Google Drive folder that's connected to our cloud service like we learned in part two so I hope that helps you learn how to create archives of your materials if you're moving school districts um, and that you have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching you guys. Bye-bye.